or scared. It's okay. Because it's just like she said, it's like you pick the game you want to play. You want to talk and mess with the house. It can do that too. And then we were hearing some weird knocking and footsteps and stuff in the hallway. The house likes to split people up. I'm doing the SS method from the basement alone. That is not good. That like hisses. There's like a thing with horns that come on it. Great. Uh, we had to actually carry a couple people up out of the basement before. You want us not to go down here alone. The house has, is its own personality. It is very much like a person. Are we playing the game correctly? Liv! Yes. We're on our way to Ohio. To a very special place that our patrons actually picked. Well, they picked the Cecil, but you, that's that's a lot more difficult, apparently, to get into. So, we're going to Bel Air House, which apparently is really spoopy, but Liv and I know nothing about it thus far, other than what people tell us in the comments of, like, some weird daemon, possibly. Who do you see, Liv? <laughs> I don't know, there's, like, a small boy. I'm a real boy. And then a taller boy. There's a woman who's older. She's, like, a grandma. Boys have just been freaking me out because I was folding socks last night on my bed and this 14 year old boy just like showed up and was staring at me and I was like What's up? He's like 14 or 17. I don't know. Fours and sevens freak me out too. <laughs> so He's like maybe like an inch or two taller than me mm -hmm. I don't know. He's got like sandy brown hair and he just was staring at me and I was like it's not nice to stare <laughs> So <laughs> there might be a little girl that just popped into my head she's like three to four and she has like blondish hair and it's longer and curly at the bottom she looks like she's going to like easter or something got anything else there's a man too okay um he makes me feel like he's cranky like if you chew gum he's one of the dads that yells at you for chewing gum because it's too loud or something <laughs> Yeah, what do you see? So, before we booked this place, I was seeing this cloud in my house, this dark cloud, and I was like, this is weird. Cause I would like turn around and see it and be like, oh God, like almost running into it type of thing. And then that Wednesday, Liv was like, fine, we're gonna, we're gonna have a ghost investigation. We're gonna do this one. And, uh, now we're going to Bel Air House because our patrons were like, this sounds like a good idea. So I was like, oh, that's where you came from. <laughs> so I perceive the dark thing in the house. I feel like the dark thing is kind of like the thing in uh, the Conjuring House where it makes like, it like makes dreamlike things come true. But in reality, it's like making your nightmare come true. And, um, there's a man and a woman, and they show me the plot lines of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Because the things that happen in the house at Courage, Courage the Cowardly Dog are like really weird, paranormal, spooky things. And they make me feel like this house is like that, where weird, like almost like it's almost like having hallucinations of things happening in the house. So, because I was seeing this dark cloud in my house, I was like, I need to feel better, so I'm going to try and find, like, a human soul. So, this family that I am seeing, there's a man, a woman, and they have two kids. One is a boy, and then there's, like, a little girl. However, the dark thing makes their faces all distorted. So, I was like, this is scary. I don't know if you're actually real or not or what. So I was talking to Anthony and Janelle the one night and we were like talking about going to this place and Anthony and Janelle kept asking questions about like, oh, I wonder if it's going to be scary, all these things. And then I started to perceive this man and his energy is like super heavy and it's like, if you could see it because I have synesthesia. It's like a deep red brown color and he makes things every like makes things very seated and grounded. But he was like protecting us 
from having that dark thing manipulate things around us. And I feel like he's one of the protectors of the house. Like how the Conjuring house has those like seven different souls that have designated themselves to protect the place or the people that go into it. So I feel like he is, I feel like he's one of the protectors and I feel like the people that live there may or may not know about him. How does that sound? <laughs> and if you're new to this channel, I'm Liv and this is Em. Em, say hi. Y'all. And then in the background is uh, Brussels Sprout and Jolene. Anthony's not here. R.I.P. Anthony. Please. I know. Anthony couldn't come because he had a child. <sighs> Responsibilities. What's scarier than a ghost? Responsibilities. <laughs> We're at the Bel Air house. I lost my mind. It's fine. Don't look at me like that. It was necessary. She's nervous. I already vacuumed. <laughs> Stress vacuumed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like inappropriate laughter during like really dark things that we're talking about. Same thing. Well, we're at the Bel Air house and the reason we're here is because of our patrons. So if you'd like to make decisions for us in pools. <laughs> decisions for us. Please join Patreon. I'll put it down in the, the description and all of the things. But uh, apparently this place is famously haunted and a lot of us, a lot of the patrons want us to go here specifically. But I'm not entirely sure why because- Did you guys hear that? I, was it a thud? There's like shuffling going on behind me. Is there? Yeah. It's back there, Lou. I feel like, like there's the a little kitchen. old lady. In the Jacob, did you turn on the water? Let me go check. Hang on. Did you fix it? It was Jacob. Put a kitty cats. <laughs> oh, yes. So, Janelle and I are in the kitchen. In the kitchen. That Turn it off. Probably me because I walked by. Thank you. If you would like to turn off the flashlight, I would appreciate it. Thank you. So, if you see the little tiny um, plate over there, that says that if the sink for some reason doesn't work, that we need to ask Jacob to turn on the sink. Uh, Janelle, you said Jacob is the person that built the house? I believe so. Ah, Janelle went on the tour. I did not. I scrolled through Instagram. <laughs> Jacob, if that is you, can you turn off the flashlight? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So earlier, when you turned off the water, do you actually turn off the water? Or is it just because of... Do you really? If you turn it off, I'll take that as a yes, so that you actually do control the faucets in here. No? Is it 50-50? 50-50, yeah. Bad plumbing and you sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How did you hear that information? Oh, I'm just guessed. Hmm. Is Janelle correct? If so, you can turn off the flashlight. Well, oh. <laughs> so was it you earlier who turned off the water when I was trying to make the cat dishes um, clean, or was it bad plumbing? If it was you, turn on the flashlight. And if it was just bad plumbing because I also tried to turn on the cold water, leave the flashlight off. Well, thank you. I was like kind of almost offended a little bit because I was like, oh, he doesn't want the kitties to have water because I was trying to make it warm because I know it's cold outside so it wouldn't freeze, but also mix it with some cold water so they don't burn their little kitty tonguies on it. So, so, so far, Jacob, are you enjoying our presence? Are we like some A-OK, -okay, maybe paranormal investigators? If so, please turn on one of the flashlights. I feel like he's gone. <laughs> Are you still here? We're not interesting enough. He's like, you got what you came here for. Are you getting anything? Yeah, he's having a nice conversation with us. Yeah, we weren't getting anything. We weren't getting anything upstairs, so we decided to come down here because I like kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess Jacob is the man who built the house. Yeah, see, we're having a good time. Isn't that right, Jacob? You can uh, leave it on if you're having a good time. 
We're talking about the architectural integrity of such house because I really like the archways and I asked him if the archways nowadays and houses aren't made because people are lazy. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> Cause I mean, look at that beautiful archway. Is the activity gonna change at 12? That's my question. Wow. Well, thank you for answering. But I have another question. <laughs> Is that jigsaw thing? Jig what are those things called? The house, the jigsaw. The Rubik's puzzle. Cube? Is that what I'm seeing? Is that real? Is it y'all in my head? Is it not exactly what I'm exploring it as? You gotta get some weight. I don't normally talk. <laughs> I don't know, he said. <laughs> what is that thing? We're gonna lock this place down. He's right. We go room by room, barricade every window and door. We gotta play it safe. No matter what happens, we have to stay together. This isn't right. What? What's the matter? This is right, we should split up. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> the you know, more... You know, you know Cabin in the Woods, right? The scary movie? Yeah. Where they have like know. a bunch of different artists. Like, You're know. in the way of the oh, flashlight. I should've said Thank that. You. Thank <laughs> you. You were saying the Rubik's Cube thing. Exactly, that's what I was seeing. The Cabin in the Woods thing. Exactly, yeah. yes, 150%. Cabin in the Woods is like, if you're scared, then the scary things are happening. If you're not scared, the scary things aren't gonna happen. Right, Jacob? Oh, so we have to be scared? That's dumb. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> He's like, that's my like, work problem, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, you got your eager face on and he's like, he's one of the people like, you know, in the South where they talk quieter or they talk slower. He talks slow. Oh, that's why and I think you're so in good. here and you're like, skinny, boop, 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 wow. And he's like, like oh, my eager face on God. <laughs> was done by a gentleman named Jacob Hedrington. It was built for his granddaughter, Lyde. Uh, she's the one who passed away in the home, and she died here in this room here. Um, and this was her sitting area, and she passed away in the fireplace due to heart complications. And if you want to see a picture of Jacob, his wife, unfortunately, Lyde is not in the picture. But this gentleman right here, this is Jacob Hedrington. He's the patriarch of the family. He came here uh, with his family when he was a younger man from England. And he stayed here and they uh, left him behind for the most part. This is his wife, Eliza, and that's her monument there. And that's a few miles down the road and up on the hill from us. And then this is one of his daughters here. Here's one of his boats. So he came here with nothing and by the time it was all said and done at his peak, he owned 667 acres of Bel Air, starting uh, what they call with Pentron down here, all the way up um, at least halfway through the town, if not more. He owned hotels, inns, restaurants, and he, he owned a little bit of everything. Um, he built his own home, his own mansion, probably about, I'd say, a block, maybe a block and a half from us, uh, south here. And uh, unfortunately, it was torn down uh, by the village. Uh, they did keep the bust of his uh, mule jack which is who he built that house for mm -hmm. and he actually once the house was built he walked his mule through the house before he allowed anybody else in it but unfortunately they, like i said uh, they tore it down but they did keep it they have it up in the library uh, in town up here and i do think they have a model of one of his boats up in, up in town as well but and jack was who when he started um Jack was the one who carted the coal down to the barge, and they were pulling coal with his opening? friends. Is that her? Is that Liv? Okay. I'm <laughs> she was I'm going to the bathroom. Okay, I was like... Okay. We're doing our walkthrough. Hold on. So, I went on the tour. Tour. Liv did not go on the tour. So, we're doing her walkthrough, and she's gonna go through all the stuff that she sees first, and then we're gonna do other things. Yeah, that means I don't know anything. I was yeah. sitting downstairs scrolling Instagram with the spirits that are like, behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so. 
I have to go up first. Oh, I mean, I can. <laughs> I should probably bring a flashlight or do they have lights up there? There should be lights. I got a light if they are, can't find them. Okay. But yeah, it's a little bit sketchy going up and down the stairs. Oh, this is the attic? Yeah. I like this rug. There's lots of children up here. Yeah. Why do they have that tied shut weirdly? Just have it open. It probably doesn't, oh, well, probably doesn't stay close, that's yeah, why. Yeah, that's way creepier than if it's just- I mean, I thin. know. There's a kitty cat. He's a dark colored kitty cat. It might even be a girl. Weird things in the corner. Yeah. But if you have lights on, they can't come out of the light. They can't come out of the shadows, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So if you move them, or like have a light, they can't come out of it. Interesting. So there's scary things up here? Yeah, but they're very quiet. They like to roll things, so it sounds like balls are rolling, but I don't think the actual balls are rolling. This, I kicked this. Mm. And then it started going off when it was underneath that. It might have been from him though. Just a fucking cat ball up here that's just on. <laughs> For the kitty cat. For the kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance. <laughs> um, yeah, there's lots of kids up here, but there's also lots of weird things. Yeah. Do you get the portal? And? Is that the portal? That's one of them. Is that the worst one? I can't tell. The kids are telling me this is where the mom or like the maid would send them up when they were being bad. <laughs> Because the windows are small and I they can only- I that little boy was scared to come up here. And they can't, like, it, like, that's why the, like, the windows are small so they have to see, like, what they're missing. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Like, oh man. Well, she was mean. Can I, like, look in here? Because like, when I was standing up here. Sorry, there's a little boy. He was like, hey, miss. He Got it. Terrifying. He's like, she's like- he's There's like, games in here, guys. What? There's games in here. Yeah. yeah! Did someone fall off the roof or something here? They didn't tell us anything about that. Because I feel like so, someone fell and hit the side of their head. There were apparently two kids, I believe, that fell off the roof here. And they ran out the window. Mm. And they jumped out the window. Yeah, one of them, like there's a little boy here. He has brown hair. He's like... Mm -hmm. This tall and he came over and he tugged on my arm and he's like, hey, what did he say? He said like, hey lady, he like misses, missy, misses, something like that. And he's like, can I tell you a secret? And then his head went like that and it like glitched. <sighs> and that's when the side of my head started hurting and I mm -hmm. felt like I had to ask about falling off the roof. So I believe it's two. It might be one. I'll have to look again. The other one might have had blonde hair if it was two. But that's just a interpretation of him. It's not actually him, so. Do you want to take a look in the little hidey hole? The hidey hole? Oh God, a crawl space you mean? I mean, it's in. <laughs> it's good right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I came back over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he told us there's two portals. One is in there. And one is in that. That one goes down. Got you. Because that one goes down into the Edwin's room, is what he said. Ah, uh, well, energetically it goes down too, so. Which is scary. That one goes straight and it feels warmer. Got you. That one spins counterclockwise and it goes down. That one spins clockwise and it goes that way. So, do with that what you will. I don't want to go out portals. There's another, oh, that's not a mouse, it's okay. Yeah, it does not feel good over there. Just yeah. I walked in there. The dark thing starts talking to you when you go over there. It's really cold. Because it's like, you want to fall down the window? Mm -hmm. I can do that for you. And it sounds like a little child when it talks. Mm -hmm. The website said that the two kids were lured. To go up out. To go up By who? That's what it said. Another little kid? 
Because it sounds like a little boy, but I know it's not because underneath it's. You know? Could have been. Yeah, when you walk over there, it's like. You're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> and it like touches your feet. You're welcome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, up here in the attic, um, this is where their servants stay. Okay? And the reason why I say, like, it kind of quotes is that they were abolitionists. And they helped people to free them. And they would hide them back in here. When the house was built, this was a false wall, had a false doorway here. And then, as the laws changed, people were set free. They didn't have to hide anymore. They ended up putting a gate on there. But this is where they would hide people. And they would take them down at night. There's a way through, out through the basement that takes you under the ground along the side of the house down. So up here we get a, we get a lot of different communication uh, up here at this part of the house. Um, a lot of people will tell us that they get uh, communication from female entities and spirits. Uh, children, a lot of times, they will get up here. Um, so it just depends. And the one thing I will say about the house is, the house is its own personality. It is very much like a person. It's not just the residential spirits, so, you, so to speak, like the house spirits, the family, that will come through here. We have had many different connections through here. We had a one evening during a session, there was uh, two beings that came through. They said they wanted to be called the star people. We've had Native American spirits come through, French, German, Russian, all different kinds. Um, but we get a little bit of everything. Sometimes it's very relaxed in the house and just a calm kind of evening. And then sometimes it can be off the chain where things are physical, things get thrown, people get grabbed, pinched, scratched, bit, things like that. So it really kind of just depends on the mood that the house is in. Do you have any questions about anything up here? I don't know. Is there like a portal up here? So as the portals go, we found that in here, in this part right here, mm -hmm. this closet over here, okay. those were the two main ones that we've been, that, yeah. we know, that we know of. The energy just kind of like stuffy up here. Yes. <laughs> so, that's why I was asking. Yeah, and we've, at, we ourselves and other groups have caught appar like apparitions up here. We've, mm -hmm. uh, we had one gentleman, his name was Luca. Um, he captured, he had a full spectrum camera, was taking photographs of it. Mm -hmm. And he was sitting over here, and then this, uh, what do you call it? I can't think right now of the word. But over here in this area, he caught like a, a winged creature. Um, one evening we had um, a lady sitting on the couch here playing that little piano that was sitting up here. On the video, you could see it light up, the piano light up, and her she was like this, with her hand like this. You could see her hand like that. <laughs> she was like in period clothing and had a hat on. Now this part of the house we call Edwin's room, and we call it that because when the house was built and he lived here, this is where he stayed. Mm -hmm. This was his part of the house. Um, we have had a lot of the darker things, so to speak, that have happened. A lot of times will happen in this room. Now it can, and I don't want to sound like a, bro uh, like a broken record, but it, it can happen in any part of the house. That's one thing that we've come to find. It's not, sometimes uh, we'll get asked what's the most you know, active part. And realistically, it honestly depends on the day mm -hmm. and, and what's happening and who's in the house. Uh, sometimes it's upstairs, sometimes it's the attic, sometimes it's the whole house, sometimes it's the basement, sometimes it's just one room. Gotcha. You, just, you just never know. It's just feeling it out and investigating it is where you really find where it is or you know, isn't as far as activity is concerned. Um, but we usually get a lot of the darker, heavier stuff that we have uh, been, it's been reported to us and things like that back in here. People feeling like they've been held down in here, um, mm -hmm. not being able to breathe in here. Um, 
that sometimes you can catch that cross swinging that we have up there, that necklace, sometimes you can catch it swinging. Um, we are only able, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because of the view or what, but we've only been able to keep this picture hanging on the wall. Anything else that we hang besides this and that cross eventually gets pulled down. So this was... This is Edwin's room. Edwin's room. That cross that's on the door, mm -hmm. not good. Oh. It should not be there. People do weird things to that. Oh, this definitely feels like a dude's room. <laughs> This wood paneling, it needs like Scottish carpets and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. All of the furniture is off center, it's driving me crazy. I can't. Okay, you can have it at the angle, I understand. But also, why is it off center? There's um, pennies everywhere. Did he smoke? No, no. Probably. He was from the Times. I would assume he would smoke. I felt like I smelled smoke earlier. I feel like the whole building smells like smoke. That so. too. I feel like I can taste like, it. I can so. taste no, like I got it like extra strong, like in my nose. Yeah. Was that a closet too? I gotta touch it. I want doors like this in my house. It's probably because it's your psychic abilities, Janelle. Oh, card table. Who wants to play poker? Sorry. We are cards, cards, I think. Ooh, who did that? What the cross? Yeah. I got the same feeling from the cross. It the cross is not is good. good. Not be there. Because he, he pointed it out because I was standing here. And he's like, sometimes this cross up here moves. And I'm like, oh, God, you need to fucking kick that down. Yeah, you got to throw that out. <laughs> like that thing. Gonna, I'm sorry if whoever watches this but opens the place is offended by that, but that is not good. That, like, hisses. Yep. Like, it's on fire. That's literally, like, um... Those things from Harry Potter. What the are they called? The Horcrux? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hundred percent. And it's because people have associations to that. Uh, it's supposed to do a certain thing, and when it moves, it doesn't do that. <laughs> It literally takes the power from us. Yes. That was not me. Because we're talking about it. I don't like it. <laughs> so we're just going to ignore that for the rest of the night. Yeah, it's scary. Scary, scary, scary. Because that's what I was talking about when you, you were in the bathroom. Scary, Terry. To Russell. You can run, but you can't hide, bitch. Like, the cross is not good. <laughs> you know? But you yeah. can hide, bitch. <laughs> Whose room is this again? This is Edwin's room. Edwin? Yeah. It was Edwin again? Edwin was Lyde's brother. And when Lyde passed away, them two were like twins. They were very connected. They did mm -hmm. everything together. As a matter of fact, she signed his draft card. So when he, when uh, she passed, he did everything that he could to make connection with her. And mm -hmm. he's the one who we feel really kind of started this whole, I don't want to say started it off, but he would bring in what we call psychics, mediums, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From all over to come here and try and make connection with her. And we think that he did it, and this is personally me as well, just being a part of the house for so long and, and all the investigations and things, is that he's the one that really kind of opened up the doorway, trying to make that connection, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't want to say ironically, but like she passed away right beneath this room. Okay, a lot of heavier, darker stuff that we get told about happens here. Mm -hmm. uh, reports of somebody, a child trying to go out the window was above <laughs> us, right? Is and the attic above us? Yes. Okay. And where they hid the children was right here, above us. Mm -hmm. And the people, they were hid in that wall, would have been right here. Got you, because I was like, the portal I felt like was above us, and that's why this room is so weird. Yeah. So <laughs> I've always felt that and seen it because um, I do psychic and medium work as well, yeah. is that it comes, to me, this is how I always see it, it just comes up like a funnel, like yeah. up through this part of the house and just kind of out, and it just filters through. And I've always explained it to people as like a paranormal train station. Yeah. Here, like we get oh, well, just so many different things. Does so so. anyone else have a lot of tightness in their chest? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like on both sides, like right here. <laughs> yeah. Why, are you guys nervous? I'm not nervous. I do have to pee. Again? <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. So, 
Is there anyone here that can make any of our devices go off? Besides me. Besides me. We've got the REM pod down on the piano. Oh yeah, go play us a tune on the REM pod. It's really annoying. It'll be fun. We've got the music box. You can scare the... But Jesus. The crap out of us. You crap. I feel like there's a black and white cat around here. With a little black and white cat to touch something. I know there's two boys. You guys want to play on the piano downstairs? Or make the rum pod move? That would be cool. You just gotta pretend you're like a ninja, like you're playing kung fu, like. You know what I'm saying? Sam, Sam. I feel like things happen after twelve, but time means nothing. So I don't know. It's just intrusive thoughts. That's all. So all you guys gotta do is like put your brain power towards the uh, the flashlights and the work. I mean, I'm really touchy. Do you perceive the house to like be like this little jigsaw puzzle thing that like, or um, what are those square puzzles called? Rubik's cube. Yeah, because every time I go into a room, it's like the house decides what the room's gonna be like. Because mm. when you said it gets bad at 12, it's because the people like when it gets bad at 12. But at the same time, they show me, like, different strings of existence being threaded into rooms. And mm. I don't know what that means. It makes sense. Does it? <laughs> well, I don't know why it would get bad at 12, because 12 doesn't make sense for anything. Well, people get scared when it's, like, midnight. Oh. I mean, I know that their witching hour is like three and that's like the time, but the like midnight is also not really a comfortable feeling. So that's when George Lopez comes on. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel like there's anyone in here. Yeah, it's really quiet. Yeah, so it's really quiet when we then. Is there anyone in the hallway? Maybe we want to do the upstairs first. If you say it gets worse at 12. Mm. I was just a thought that was intrusive from the left hand side of my brain, so. Because this is the quietest it's ever been on a ghost hunt so far. You know, we came in this room earlier, there was a woman sitting on that. Oh, I really? think just moved. Yeah, her hair is like all done up fancy. Like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Because she was uh, younger, right? With brown hair? Yeah, she makes this room very safe, very feel good. And she's like, the people that don't feel good in here, they bring it. Yeah, I like it. So. She's telling me how there used to be a writing table. Like, over there. And her bed might have been out here. She really liked children, too. Is that a closet? I would assume so. Probably. Okay. Yeah, I really like it in here. It's really nice. Yeah, this is the master. There is also something that's attached to the dream catcher. The dream oh. catcher? Yeah. Oh, I, this. Well, I was like, know, where? I walked in here and I saw like a stall, like a really tall Native American man. Like he's literally as tall as that door frame. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, why do I feel like there's a man in here first? And then he made me look at that and I was like, oh, you're in there. Yeah, they, he was telling us that there's a whole bunch of spirits that don't like belong here. Like a Native American man. He belongs to that. Which is this thing. Yeah. It was weird. Just a cot. Oh, that's cool. Okay, next one. I like this one. We can yeah. sleep in here for this sure. This is a nice room. It's a, I just don't sleep. like the scary man that could be in there. This was Lyde's room. This is where she stayed and resided. Um, for me, this was always the lighter part of the house. Never was very heavy for me in here. I never had any bad experiences in here. Yeah. Other people have. I haven't. Um, always felt comfortable in this room. So, um, and every, but everybody feels it differently. You know what I mean? So, and it's very feminine in here. <laughs> yeah, very much so. And so, 
Um, I know one evening they were filming in here. We were filming for the Spirit Room Network and we were doing a live stream and the whole house shook. They oh, were gosh. up here. <laughs> they thought somebody was breaking in. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I don't think they had, I don't know if it's still on the Spirit Room Network or their Facebook page or whatever, but you just see them kind of put the camera down and we had, uh, <laughs> there was a bunch of investigators here and they take off downstairs because they thought someone was trying to break in. Yeah. You, you heard it on camera and you felt the whole house just shake. And that yeah. does happen from time to time. Oh and you'll notice sitting here, sometimes when certain trucks go down the highway, mm -hmm. there's like a, a part of the highway out here where this bridge is, like this overpass, you'll hear it boom, boom. So you can hear the difference between that and what that what happened in here that night. Yeah. Because it's a little oh, bit should... lower, but you yeah. can kind of hear the boom, boom. And, but in here, like I said, the whole house, you could hear the windows rattle. So it's, it's weird like that sometimes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. bought that so she can have another toy. <laughs> Folks will bring her. Some of these dolls were here. Um, some of them were brought and left as toys and gifts for Emily. And uh, she's... So is Emily a little girl? Um, we or she just think she... As a little girl. Yeah. Okay. Something posing <laughs> as. Because there was an Emily, there's actually two Emily Davises associated with the house. A younger and an older one. Mm -hmm. The younger one that seems to make the connection and we get to communicate more than the other um, is most definitely a child. Well, she was a child when she was alive as well. She drowned when she was young. I want to say it was between six and seven out in the river out here. She had an accident, drowned out in the river, kind of down in front of the house here. And personally feel that she played here, so she made her way here. Mm -hmm. It's probably the first place she came across after transitioning over. But over time and doing the investigations, we feel that it's not really her, but something posing as her to get you to, you know, let your guard down and. Do you know what she looks like? Um, blonde. Okay. This tall. <laughs> this big. She's blonde, wears a sundress, <laughs> wears a little sundress, like and this runs. Small <laughs> and blonde, yeah, and very and cute. And she'll run through the house. I feel like there might be a little girl that just popped into my head. She's like three to four, and she has like blondish hair. Um, <laughs> a lot of times it's from the living room up here into this room, and then up into the attic. Mm -hmm. um, well, this room over here, this window on the left, you can step out onto the porch. Like if you open it, you can step out onto the roof of the porch, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Kristen used to sit out there and play music. And she said you could see her sometimes out of the corner of her eye when she was sitting there playing. And you could hear her giggle and stuff like that when she would be out there playing yeah. music. And all the Hetheringtons were musicians, all of them. And I believe they even had their own Margie band that they used to do for different functions and things like that. But yeah, the first time I saw her, um, we were, we had downstairs in the living room, similar setup. Uh, we'd had the curtains up for, to separate the rooms. And uh, we had friends over and we were talking in the, what we call the seance room now, where you guys came in. And mm -hmm. uh, you could hear kids laughing. And at the time, there was no, you didn't, we didn't think anything about it because her son was 11 right. and the kids from down here would come over and play, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So to hear kids when you come home is nothing. So I didn't think anything of it, hear kids laughing, ah, and we're talking. And when you stand closer to the hallway, you can look and see so much of the steps coming up before you, it disappears up around the corner here. So I see this little blonde haired girl just take off up the steps and just giggling. <laughs> and you could hear her. Mm -hmm. But nobody followed her. Yeah. And then it got real quiet. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. That's messed <laughs> up, right? I thought maybe they just kind of ditched her or something. Or, but so I'm like, okay. So I pull the curtains back to see what everybody's doing. The, you know, are they being mean? Blah, blah, blah. Why aren't they playing anymore? And there's no kids in there at all. And her son is laying on the couch sleeping. So he wasn't even awake. He had no idea what was going on. And, you know, 
So when our friends left, I looked at Kristen and I said, you want to tell me who the little girl is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> running through the house? Because I had no idea. Like, you know what I mean? At the time, I was like, who's the little girl? And that's what yeah. she told me. Because she doesn't look like the pictures that you showed me of the people with darker hair. So I was like, right. um, I don't know why there's a little black girl here. That's, that's Emily. That's her. She's cute. Yes. I feel like there's a scary thing associated to her because people are scared of it. Does yes. that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. I feel like she's human. Mm hmm So it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she uh, at times will have full conversations. Yeah. <laughs> and she's one of the only ones that will come through on the boxes usually as a child's voice. Usually you get adult voices and she's the only one that will come through as a child's voice. So yeah. Yeah, she's really cute. She talks a lot. Yep. And she really sometimes likes this. Well, that's cool because we weren't sure, but we bought she, it. She and says we brought these it are in. like her her grown up, her big girl dolls. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yes, yeah, some of them were here. A couple of them were here, but some of them were brought as gifts. Again, like I think this room's not too bad. There's a little girl. There's a lot of dolls. Well, yeah. So the first thing I see when I'm walking up this hallway is there was a woman that was greeting us. She makes me feel like she's from the 1880s to 1890s, like turn of the century, and she's older. She's like 50-ish. She might be more like 47, but she doesn't look good for her age. Oh, sorry, she corrected me. So she's like, "What you guys doing?" So she um, seems nice. I feel like something tries to manipulate her to make her look scary, but I saw her niceness first. So we're coming in here. Sure. I don't remember who Annie's room is except for the man, and I only remember his name. So, <laughs> wait, I might remember what this room's called. But who do you see in here? There's a little girl. There's also a little boy, though. What's the little, little girl over here. The little boy's like right here. What does the little girl look like? She's short. Mm-hmm. She has brownish hair that's curly at the ends, and she wears one of those frilly dresses. There's also another girl I feel that might have lived here when it was like during the 60s or something. What does she look like? Did she have red hair? Is there a red haired girl? They don't know about a red girl. girl. They didn't tell us anything about that. Hmm. She either has darker hair or it's like red. Got you. Got anything else? They're telling me that there's a bad man that stands in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, the first thing I saw when I walked in here was a little girl that's this big. Mm -hmm. This big? And she this she's big. blonde. Oh, okay. And she has like little pigtails and her hair's like too short for her hair to be in pigtails. So it's like this, this like long. That's cute. Um, but yeah. They were talking about a blonde haired girl because I know the brown haired girl's like here. But the, the teenager, she has like brown, like the brown or red hair, she's the one talking about the little girl, so she might hang out with her to make her feel safer. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. But there's an older one. She's like babysitting age. Got you. But I did see the little one. She's like three to five, maybe. She can make sentences, but sometimes she gets frustrated and has hissy fits. Yeah, she she talks like Fiona. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but they say that there's like a scary man in the corner, but I don't feel the scary man. It's almost like they're talking about it from a different like time yeah they tell me because when we came in here this is i believe emily's room okay. Emily. yeah but he's emily's like room. we weren't sure who this blonde girl was but they thought that it, there was a scary thing associated to her and when we came in here she was telling me about how there's a scary version of her because the people are afraid of her why she's little because they just don't like children <laughs> Well, What's I, scarier than ghosts? I don't think a she's child. supposed to be here. Like she's not like a she didn't live house. here. And they just started seeing like a little girl that like runs around and laughs, and that's like scary paranormal stuff. I don't know. But What's scarier than a ghost? She's really cute. Yeah. A child. But she talks like Fiona, she's very like auditory. Well, like she talks she about talks the river. A lot. Well when you say that she didn't live here, because it doesn't feel like parents are here for her. No. She might have gotten stolen by the river. Yeah, it was said that she was she drowned. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she drowned. I think a man stole her. Got you. So. Yeah, that was the story that she drowned. Because I was like, you don't look like the family that lives here. Who are you? That's really funny. Because <laughs> he showed us pictures of the people that live here and they have darker colored hair. 
So I asked him, I was like, what does she look like? Because there's a blonde girl here. She's like Boo from Monsters, Inc. Yes, exactly. She but says she's, she's not scared of the scary things anymore. Mm -hmm. So if people aren't scared of her, she helps explain the scary things, which is why there was a scary thing in this room that people might um, perceive, like the dark thing yeah. in the corner. Because they're very much telling me about it, yes. but I don't actually see it. Yes. So she's mm -hmm. like when Boo learns that the closet isn't scary anymore. Because I feel like this That's man true. that took her did not do nice things to her before she drowned. Yeah. And she's like, I'm not scared of him anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's really cute. And she talks. heavy room. Not like heavy in feeling, but like heavy, you know. There's just weird things. And now, the fun begins. <laughs> That's good. I like the theatrics. Man, if I see someone up these stairs, I'm I know you're upset. going first, and now it's dark. I'm gonna be upset. Booty, I'm booty, upset. booty, booty, rocket everywhere. <laughs> I was pulling a lot of things, and now I'm not. Yeah, where did you oh, put all the flashlights? To you. There's one there. There's one there. There's one over there. Okay, well, oh. now tell the camera. <clears throat> me, 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 me. So we're in Emily's room. Now oh, this bed is not <laughs> really seeps in the middle. So we're in Emily's room. There's Boo Buddy that's over there that's gonna be talking. Sorry, not sorry. Um, oh. She likes him. Uh, and we have a lot of things. So we have the flashlight there, a flashlight there. Where's the third one? It's up on the mantle behind Russell's forehead. And then it looks like there's an EM. EM. EMF. And an EMF. No, that's not an EMF. That's an EMF. There's an EMF there. And then there's the recorder over there. Okay. Is there anyone in this room that wants to talk to us? If so, you can touch the flashlights. They're very touchy. Touchy. Or at least they were. And uh, we can also play a Boo Buddy. Or speak into the microphone. Is this thing on? You told me to take these out. Can you move them? Oh, thank you. It yeah. might just be because you're moving, though. Oh, it might be. Can you make it stop? Hmm. Can you move it again so that we know it wasn't me? Can you make a noise for me? Who can even walk in front of the uh, the? It's cold again. It did get a little bit colder in here. Yes. Um, you could even walk in front of the music box in the hallway too. Nothing type text temperature. We found a Rubik's cube. I know. I was like, um, this is convenient. There's a rock up here too. Did in fact get a little bit cooler. You think? That's it why I'm saying that. Yeah. We have a window in here. Mm -hmm. That's why Boo Buddy said that. Do you like to play pretend? Here, I'm gonna put this over here too. I don't know if you're gonna be able to turn it on, but we'll try, right? If you're like yes. Okay. You can come sit next to me and uh, touch the uh, touch the flashlight. I both and Luke and I were like, um, There's nothing we're not even talking to, talk to anyone. To. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we're, uh, making Staring ourselves at each other. busy. Yeah, that's why I was, like, touching things, because I was like, will this little girl, like, come and play with me? But she's... Should we just wait until 12? Um, I feel like we need to go either downstairs or upstairs, or we need to separate. That's what the house wants. Exactly. <laughs> So, do you, you guys want to do, like, separate it two and two? Yeah, we can. Okay. So, who wants to be with me and who wants to be with Liv? I'll go with you, Emily. You're coming with me. Okay. Yeah. What do we want? 
Oh, that music box, because I know Liv doesn't want it. <laughs> okay, we can take the music box, and the REM pod can stay downstairs for now. Unless you guys want the REM pod. Where do you guys want to go? You want to um, go to the basement or upstairs? Those are your options I'm giving you. <laughs> I don't care either one. Let's go to the basement. They're both scary. It doesn't matter. How old uh, are you? Okay. Is that a good idea? Is that why it's flashing? Was it someone in the hallway? Are you a man? <laughs> you just showed up. You see a man standing behind you? He has a mustache. Mm, yeah. I like cookies. What's your favorite food? If that's you standing in the hallway, can you turn on the light for us again? What were we just talking about? You were talking about splitting up? Yeah, because you walked in when you were talking about something. That was weird, though. You said they were it both creeps scary. and then that thing starts blasting. You said it because they were both scary or something along those lines, and yeah. that's what it pounded up. I like music. I've got chills. He's gone now. Because he was standing in the doorway. Because mm -hmm. he was, like, walking oh, by. Is that where his the room is over there? Oh, then, yeah, he goes that's up to the, the stairs. Attic. Oh, the stairs go down there? The stairs are right here. Oh. Yeah, and the stairs up to the attic. Go. Yeah, he like walked up the stairs and then looked in here and then made that go off because he was standing here for a second and then he walked away. He's not over here anymore. So, I don't know. <laughs> Did you want us to go in the basement? He's gone. I like good stuff. <laughs> Please tell me when. Sure. If we can. I'm just going to let you latch it like that. Yeah, it's probably fine. Did you see them all standing? Over there? No. Oh, why well, I like saw this big. Oh, I saw something over there. Yeah, that corner doesn't make me feel very good. No. No, it doesn't. Where is that even? Where, Where do we want to put this at? right where it's at? No. There's something in that. Fun. Do we want to put it over here on the rug? I want to know when things are coming out of this. Oh, God. I don't think it's going to stop in there. It's really weird. Okay. Well, we're gonna talk the scary things. Yeah. Cool. There. Okay. <laughs> What's up? We're upstairs. We split off. Liv and Janelle are downstairs in, I think, the master. And we are currently in the attic. And um, weird things that have happened so far while we were setting up is there's a music box here, and every time we point it into that hidey hole, it goes off it's non-stop. Crazy. And it might be because of the portal, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. But it's um, not cool, and I keep seeing this like dark thing that comes out of it that looks like it has horns, and it's gray, and it Sick. has red eyes. <laughs> Sick! <laughs> So what we have, we have a cat ball on the floor, we have a flashlight in between us, and then an EMF reader, and then obviously the music box back there. Okay, so if there's someone here, can you make one of these things go off? 
Can you make the music box go off? This place is just so weird. It's really quiet. It's like every time we set up, like it's just quiet and there's nothing. Yeah, we have one creek and like the flashlight goes on goes and off. off. Yeah. Literally on and off. Is that set up right too? Yeah. Okay. See? So if there's anything up here, would you mind turning on a flashlight or using our EMP? There's an old woman that's up here. Great. She has a brunch. She's not a scary one. No, no. <laughs> she is a... a She's a scary one that Liv was talking about, and not like, she's evil, she's just right. the one that's stirring. <laughs> is she wearing a polka dot dress? Or like yeah. a flower, like floral? Yep. Yeah. She's got like a fancier, okay, she has a house dress on, but it's like yeah. fancy because it's from the time. She was kind of yelling time. at me, she's just like, mm, this is what it is. Okay, damn. All right. The house chooses. There's no one in the doctor either because I'm trying to ask people questions and there's no one that answers. That's <laughs> weird because like there was just like kids up here too. Mm-hmm. Can you make that move again? I don't think that, I think that just happened. You're walking around downstairs. Yeah. Can you turn the flashlight off? The MP is going off too. The EMF. Yeah, sorry, the EMF. Are there, there children little, here? Is there a little girl up here? Are you a little girl? You can turn that on for yes. It's like the house chooses what timeline is here. Like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't right. know if that's a real thing. It's just really weird to me. Cause I see what you're seeing, but they're fuzzy. They're not like physically here yet. I know it sounds weird. It's like they're in between. Mm So it's just getting activity almost like right away too. Okay, because there's no one up here. Yeah. It's literally it's like talking to no one right now. Well, then that keeps going off too. What? The flashlight's on. Mm. Every time you say there's no one up here, it goes on. Is there no one up here? Is there someone here? Are you the little girl? Are you in between places? Is that why it's hard to answer? And I also should clarify, in between doesn't mean she's stuck somewhere. It's just a timeline in which she's on. Maybe this will be easier for them to communicate with? Yeah, do you see a little girl and her hair's half up in a bow? Uh, yeah, maybe. She looks like she's like five or six. She's in like a... A dress that's like poofy goes out like this. Oh, that's cute. But she's like literally in between. It's like um, if you were in an elevator, mm. the elevator didn't reach this floor yet. It's like up here. Up there, yeah. Which is why it's like back and forth. Can you use either one of these at all? I don't know if we could use the spirit box. You want to try? You could try it, yeah. Can you make that music box go off? Yes. Can you do it? Game. You want a game? You want to play red light, green light? It's bot. I don't know what that means. Are you a little boy? Are there a lot of people it's that It's because. Are there a lot of people that are up here? That talk up here? 
different timelines. Real. Should we turn the lights off? Slow down. Slow down for what? Help me. Help you do what? It was one. If we turn the lights off, will the activity change? Alone? Will the activity change if we're alone? Are you not answering for a reason? Are there portals up here? You see. I see the portals. A certain group of people. Did they open them? Edwin, are you showing me things? So the guide was telling us about people that they would hide in that hidey hole. And they show me people that, because it's like the roof is slanted, so they had to like crouch down and hide in there. And it was like scary because they were nervous that they were going to get found. And it's hard to keep quiet when you're in an uncomfortable spot because you can't move very much. So they're always worried when they were in there. Were there women that were You like there? that? Do you like that? There were women up here? Because I see- Receive all the- Because I see three women sitting on the bed over there. Um, they all have curly hair and their hair is like done up. And then there's a couple men. There's like two men. Does this time does this house show you timelines? Light one up. Let's go downstairs. What'd you say? Let's go downstairs. Let's try that. Oh gosh, like the basement? Yeah, like people came in and out for like a second and they like touched this and I was talking to a few through you. Oh, that's fun. I didn't know if anything was yeah. happening. Like what we were talking about before, when you come into the house, this is underneath where we were standing and we're live and past the Got gotcha. you. So, um, we do know of portal against this wall over here, and one in this room over here up against this wall over here. Down here we get a lot of, we usually get a lot of really good responses with the Estes method down here. Um, we get a lot of energy drain down here uh, with people. Uh, we had to actually carry a couple people up out of the basement before. That's, a, that's why we don't let anybody in here alone. Um, so we had one, one gentleman opened himself up to it. He was trying, he wanted to make communication and he like opened his arms up. We're like watching him open. Yes, he's like, I give you permission to blah, blah, blah. And next thing we know, he was on the ground. Outside. So that's, we don't, that's why we don't let anyone investigate by themselves because the house likes to split people up and it definitely likes to drain your energy and likes to mm -hmm. make you sick. Um, sometimes it makes people cry, um, get physically ill off the side of the porch, um, different things like that. So back here where the cinder block is at in the wall, before they put all the um, duct work and everything through there when the house was built, that duct part of that brick was false. And that's where they would take people, they would take them through here, behind this, and up behind the house, down the side of the house, and out to the river. So yeah. That is something that was drawn and we were told somebody said they saw it. They saw yeah. They so. scary. <laughs> yeah. It's, we've had people get blinded down here. Yeah. Um, that portal is scary. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, drained out, blinded. Um, like even right now, like my mouth's real dry. I'm like, 
feel real heavy on the shoulders. So, um, yeah, it gets everybody differently down here, but it's a lot heavier to me and to other people. Mm -hmm. so. Well, this is cool. Is it? Yeah. That's a creepy ass chair. Is that a frog man? <laughs> Are you a frog man? So someone uh, drew this and they said that's what they saw down here. Looks like a frog man. Oh. What? It like runs and hides behind the wall over there. The frog man? Uh, I don't know what it is. I just oh. know that something's there. It like ran. Is it small? Like, it's like ha like less than halfway above the center line, so yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit taller. Its head is like just like three inches under the light plate. Is there an old lady sitting in that chair? Did yeah. anyone else see an old oh, lady? Oh, that's like not an old lady. Out? Not an old lady. No? Not me. It looks like an old lady. Is she glitchy? I don't know why a weird old lady would be sitting in a chair in a basement though, so probably. I don't know, she looks scary to me. I really don't like the lady in the chair. Yeah, because she's not a lady. You're not a lady! <laughs> is this the shower? Is this the pop-up shower? Yeah, that they put because they didn't want to go upstairs because it was too active. There's not an actual shower head, so... Yeah. Go back there. Tell us what's over there. I don't like the scary thing that's over there. The old yeah. lady's laughing. Oh! <laughs> She looks too yellow. I, I told you, she's weird. She's not a person. Oh, well that makes sense. I'm like, how? It looks like it could run around this way, but the fact yeah. that it's not actually on is weird. Is it in between both of you? Yes. And behind me. There's another one over there. Yeah, I see. There's like a couple. What spot is. Where did he say that portal was? The other one is over at that corner. Oh, where is it over here? Over here in this corner. Cause they're like lining up behind me. <laughs> which way do they spin, Liv? Counterclockwise, which is bad. Interesting. Clockwise is good, counterclockwise is bad. And they're flat. Over here and over there. While we were down here during the tour, I saw a thing come out of that and stand behind us. I don't know, I feel like there's something on the, like this, like in between both of you. There is. And there's something behind me. So, um, they were in this house, there were... Oh, um, this one's the nice, nicer one. It still spins the opposite direction, but it feels warm like the one that's upstairs. I thought it was over there. That feels cold and oh. that feels cold. Those are the portals you're saying? Or are you talking about the thing that's standing in between us? There's a thing standing in between you? I don't know, I feel like there's a portal here. I don't really feel it over there. So this corner over here was a false wall at one point too because they were abolitionists. So they um, they would help with like smuggling well, that's slaves. Cool. Uh, so at one point this was like you would be able to go through it and then go out the back of the house and go around. That's, um, that's still good now. Right by the river. That's yeah. smart. They also used to hide people up in that little crawl space on the third floor. People would hide up there. Mm. Okay, can we go over here and talk away from the big noisy thing? Uh. Yeah, this is where I was standing where I was like, hmm. Oh like. Yeah, well are we over here? There's someone standing back here. So a dark thing. Here in shadow. It's super cool though. I just don't like the lady on the chair. She's not there anymore, but when we first walked down here I was like It's not a lady. How do you do? You warned us not to go down here alone too. What? You warned us not to go down here alone. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'll do you start it. hearing things. Not gonna let her go down here by herself. I'll do it. It's uh, 11 18.
Okay, 11, 18. Goodness Maybe we'll be able gracious, to sink it. Emily. <laughs> what? Ooh, I hate it. Keep me safe. Me from up here? Yeah. I think she'll be okay. Everything's fine. I'm only slightly scared. <laughs> Well, Emily's crazy and going down the basement by herself. I hate her. Swing flam bullshit. Absolute bullshit. We're scared. It's okay. It's gonna be more fun this way. Everything is fine. Okay, let me set this up real quick. Well, okay, so Emily was saying that the the house is its own thing too. And if you ask, you can ask the house to do things. She said the house can just as easily throw things across the room if you asked it to. Cause it's just, like she said, it's like you pick the game you wanna play. You wanna talk and mess with the house. It can do that too. And then we were hearing some weird knocking and footsteps and stuff in the hallway. Yeah, this basement's like really scary, so like, that's why I was like, I don't want to go down there. I'm not by myself. I'm by myself. I wouldn't do laundry, for, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm doing the SS method from the basement alone, and uh, I am going to say the things up here, and they're going to ask questions up in the upstairs. And everything's fine. We're good. We are fine. We got a flashlight. We're good. Okay. Is there someone that was talking to us in the basement downstairs? Maybe. Or was there many people? You can also use the flashlights that are up here if you'd like. You can step in front of the music box too, but that'll make me shit your britches. So you know. Is there a little girl here? What was that? Was there a man in the basement? Confident. Don't. Was there a scary white lady in the basement? Not the one. Are we playing the game correctly? That'll be there. Great. Do you want us to be here? I wouldn't. Me on fire. Not a single thing. Is Emily crazy for going down the basement by herself? <laughs> yes. I won't. Does the basement have the most activity? How many souls are in this house? You know what that means, right? Did you work in the coal mines? Are you really there? Bad. Properly. I'm in. I heard someone say no. But it might just be Emily downstairs. Does this house want another family to live That's in it? Super like cool. Normal? Dang. Did you chase any of the families out? Are you walking in the kitchen? Everyone. Can you make the REM pod go okay. off? Okay. Hmm. 
Maybe. Did you tell okay. Emily that you were there? Easy. How many are with Emily? Around. Should we be scared of you? <laughs> Can't ask a question like that with my flashlight <laughs> off. <laughs> Me. I'm over here. Fuck. Okay, I think I'm done. like don't want to turn it off because I'm more scared of what I'm gonna hear physically instead of like through this don't drink and drive that's what it said um but yeah I think I'm gonna go back upstairs but uh there was a man sitting here with me because I was scared um it's the very solid man that I was talking about because I like asked for him to sit with me um and he like had his hand on my shoulder, my right shoulder for a while, cause I was like scared. So I'm gonna go back upstairs. How you doing? It was fine. That's good. Did you feel like someone, uh, like someone was standing to the left of you in the doorway? What do you mean? Did you sit in the black chair over in the corner? No. Where did you sit? I, uh, stood in front of that bench. Hold on. Did you, did you shout up the stairs like, yeah, I'm good or anything? No. Okay. I think so. Well, I'm just tired of things walking through me on so oddly. It's really annoying. See, like, I could, like, walk down the hall and listen to and be like, there's a lady in there. Exactly, and you're like, hmm. I mean, we've talked to everybody already. Yeah. It's only just scary things, but they're just scary things. We talked to everybody already. <laughs> hey, Jacob. <coughs> Are you? Would you talk to us for a second? Can anyone turn on the flashlight? I don't know how you got this to work. I'm like actually surprised that you were, ta we were talking to a madman about this. Because most of the night we're getting with nothing. He was kind of in and out when he was talking to us. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, we had like a good five, six minutes of talking with him. Yeah. Like consecutive. It's really weird. Is there a woman that can come touch the flashlight for me, please? Pretty please? We should get on top. Does anybody understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Yeah, I ain't no one playing any games tonight. We literally have to do dumb shit for stuff to happen. If you wanna freak us out, or make us freak out, be scared. You kind of have to do a little something. Yeah, this is, I think those people are going. scared coming in, though. This is kind of a two-way street. I think it's their own things talking to them. That's what I mean. Like when they're like, you have to have, like create your own reality. They're literally creating their own reality. Wow. So it's the things that follow them that are what they're catching in the house. The house is just the amplifier for it. What do you we guys don't... watch on TV? On like this house? What do you guys watch on YouTube about it? Who do they talk to? I don't remember. What do you mean? Do they talk to the souls that are here? Well, they talk to like the, they talk to other souls that were outside of the here. Mm -hmm. But not like Edwin or like the lady of the not house? Not the ones that I watched, no. Those ones didn't know. And those are the not only ones we talked to. Exactly. So this one, like you were telling me, it's like you have to like almost call out the dark things or talk to those to get anything to happen. Yeah, but we aren't, we aren't we're talking directly to anyone. Another, exactly. So when mm -hmm. people come here, they're experiencing their own darkness. That's probably why I was seeing a cloud instead of a shape of a person, because usually when I see dark things, they're more solid. Did you hear the, like, thump thump? 
Yeah. That was a yes. <laughs> Sorry. You're recording, right? Mm hmm Great. <laughs> so that's why we're not getting activity, because we don't have scary shit that follows us that we manifest into things. Yeah. Who told you that? Just came from your head. Oh, I don't know what you're pointing at. Sorry, he's... I'm a medium. I don't need no, no. the flashlights. I, I, I know. <laughs> Things so have been like, talking to me instead of the flashlights. Literally. So, the like, there's the man that I was talking to before that was here. Jacob? Who was playing, yeah, or Harrison, but Jacob's last name kind of sounds like Harrison or Harrisburg. It's like Harrison or something. Oh, old man Harrison or something? Yeah. That's what you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that sounds just, and he was like, I was like, is there another man here? Because he was showing me himself split between the old version of him and the younger version of him. And I was talking to the younger version and his older version was giving me different in information. So like, the Heatherington older, is his last name. Yeah. Which sounds like Harrison. <laughs> um, but like, Hey, he's the one that just told me that. So even if we act up, nothing's gonna happen because we don't have things attached to us. No, that's what I watched. And it's not like, <laughs> it's not like it's an attachment. It's just we don't have things like that around us because we don't let it happen. So a lot of people are like, I, me, my, I can do this for you. Where does the physical vessel in which the information from our spirit guides and spirit comes through? So if we didn't have spirit guides, we wouldn't be able to talk to you guys about the spirit things. So like when they do these like weird things, it's the dark stuff that's attached to them that they're fearful of that manifests the things that they're conjuring or whatever. That's attached to them. It's like associated with them. It's associated with them that they keep around. Got you. And it, I feel like an attachment is something that you don't necessarily want and whether they think they want it or not, they do, which is why it's there. Mm, got you, because that's what people talk about. Mm -hmm. of, I don't know if I really want it to go I Just think the it. dark things that are in the basement have enough power to amplify whatever weird shit is around somebody, and mm. that's what they experience. Well, that's why it's a hallucination. It's like they have a tickle fight of whatever is happening, and they're like, no, 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 we can definitely make this way scarier for this person. Okay, ready? Oh! And that's why Courage the Cowardly Dog is affected by the weird hallucinations, but his family's not. And thinks it's just a regular house. Because I told I said earlier, it's like Courage the Cowardly Dog mm. house. Yeah. Too much macaroni. Not Too enough much macaroni. cheese. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm gonna be sick. I think I'm gonna harf. That's literally <laughs> a salt day. You're right, it is Curious and Cowardly Dog. Exactly. Because yeah. their dog is probably like, why are you so dang scared of everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. What do you guys think? Were you spooked and spectacularized? We're gonna post a reaction video as well because we thought it'd be funny to react to someone else going to the Bel Air house Inception. while in the Bel Air house. Inception, exactly. If you guys want to see that, it'll probably come out next week so I'm probably gonna post this one first. But also, I suck at that. So, if you guys want to see it, freaking comment and like the heck out of this. Got it? If we get 100,000 likes, I'll come down here by myself in the basement. I need tacos. I need tacos. While so, doing the Estes method. If you guys like this type of content, please let us know where we should investigate next. And uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. We all your better stop. Get. Yeah, you guys actually tried this time. That's great. <laughs> also, these are our lovely patrons. Is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? We're here. Is, uh, oh, God. Edwin, are you here? Or is there a man here? Can you make the music box go off? Anybody? Fear. Are there scary things that are in here? Together. Holy Ghost. In there. Eyes.